Hi everybody, this is Dustin from Guys With Games. Today's game is called Sit Down and Shut Up. You will need about 10 to 15 minutes of prep time, so I'm gonna tell you how to prepare for this game first. You can either use these little flashcard things, you could just use your notebook if you want to, okay? It's a category game. So depending on the level, you're gonna wanna find as many categories as you possibly can that are appropriate for that level. For example, for a beginner level, I'm gonna find 20 to 30 categories. Okay. Fruit. They know a fruit. They're gonna know one fruit. And then I'm gonna think, what are some other fruit that they know? They know pineapple and they know grapes. Okay. And I wanna test them on those ones. So I'm gonna put the P and the G there. Okay. I'm gonna do that to about 30 cards. I have all these categories on these cards. These are my students. Okay. This is the classroom, these are their desks. I'm going to divide the class into two teams. You guys are one team, you guys are the other team. I'm going to say, everybody stand up. Okay. When all of you guys are sitting down, you're going to get one point. Okay. I will say a word and you give me an example of the word. So I'm going to say fruit. What's a fruit? Billy, what's a fruit? Apple. Yes, Billy. Great job, Billy. Sit down and shut up. Don't talk, Billy. Don't tell anybody the answer. Billy will be like, okay. Okay, next one. I want a fruit that starts with a P. Pineapple. Great job, Sandy. Sandy sits down. Okay, now I want a fruit that starts with a G. Grapes. Good. They sit down. I want a girl's name. Uh, Cindy. Good job. Sit down and shut up. Okay. Uh, a girl's name that starts with an S. Sally. Good job. Okay, sit down, shut up. Girl's name that starts with a V. Vicky. Vicky. Good job. Good job. Sit down and shut up. Okay, this kid is left. Okay, so I'm going to switch the category. Something you see in the classroom. Pencil case. Ooh, a pencil case. This kid was still faster because he's pretty slow. Okay, so now I'm gonna think, okay, she just said pencil case. Things in a classroom that starts with a P. Pen. Oh, he still couldn't get it. This kid was faster, but now you got these two kids. You got the two slowest kids in the classroom. So maybe you might even toss out that subject or, and then throw in another one. A color. Red. Good. So they just have to say any color. This kid got it. They get one point. Now everybody stand up again, and then you just keep going. Okay, intermediate. Something you see in the desert. Camel. Good job. Okay, sit down, shut up. Something you see in the desert that starts with an S. Sand. Good job, sit down, shut up. Something you see in the desert that starts with an M. So let's Mirage. say, Mirage, good. Let's say, I just taught this word last week. It's a new word, it's a difficult word. Maybe one kid in the class is gonna get it. I'll throw that in there just to challenge them. Maybe that smart kid is sitting down already. If there's silence for more than five seconds, I'll say, who knows this word? If somebody knows it on their team, I just toss another point on there. So for adults or advanced classes, you can still do the same thing. Okay, so advanced class. Okay, I got a crime. Give me an example of a crime. Robbery. Robbery, sure. Robbery is a crime. Okay, now I want a crime that starts with a T. Theft. Theft, good job. Sit down and shut up. So every time a kid says an answer, they sit down, okay? They will all, all these kids that are sitting down, if you got one kid that's standing up, they're all gonna be like, psst, 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 trying to whisper him the answer. That's why I call this game Sit Down and Shut Up. I don't get angry when they do it. I kind of just want this kid to get comfortable speaking, okay? That's why I want to throw easy words in, easy categories. I want the slower kids to participate and gain a little bit of confidence as well. 